ho, ho, ho. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my rag, my gal. Send me a kiss, my wife. Baby, my heart's on fire. We now review Transformers Titan's Return. Deluxe figure Trigger Happy with his Titan Master Blowhard. Uh, I mean, Blowpipe. Trigger Happy was one of the original Generation 1 Target Master toys which had gun accessories which turned into Minicon robots with an appearance that sort of mimics the X-Wing fighters from some other franchise. Trigger Happy was perhaps the coolest looking one of the Generation 1 bunch. And the same seems to hold true with his Titan's Return makeover. Those who have collected other Deluxe Titan's Return figures will see that the packaging is the same, except for the artwork on the front and side panels. The figure is plainly visible inside its little plastic bubble, so you can decide by looking at it if you really want to buy one or not. Photographs of the figure in both modes are on the back, with the now familiar diagrams of how the Titan Master figures interact with the main figure. Other figures are shown off to the side to tease and tantalize you. The multicultural bio reads, Using the power of Titan Masters, the Decepticons rise up to destroy the Autobots. Blowpipe gives any bot he unites with the power of a compression cannon, a weapon that attacks with armor-crushing force. Once again, they seem to want to profile the Titan Master head rather than the actual figure. Feh. But let us remove Trigger Happy from his box and review him properly. And here is Trigger Happy out of box and in his alt mode. The figure comes with a handy instruction booklet, a collectible Titan's Return trading card, two weapon accessories, and the Titan Master head. Most of the Titan's Return figures are based on more futuristic looking vehicles rather than disguising as Earth-friendly style vehicles. So good luck trying to disguise yourself on Earth, Trigger Happy. In this case, Trigger Happy is a sleek looking fighter craft. It feels fairly solid with a decent amount of heft. It holds together very well with no loose floppy bits. There is plenty of painted and molded detailing to enjoy. An impressive amount. Given the smaller deluxe size, there is folding landing gear near the front of the nose cone and fake wheel nubs at the back. Trigger Happy has molded a very deep blue, set off with some off-white plastic and gold highlights, such as with the thrusters at the back. The paint applications seem neat with no visible spillage. Even so, Trigger Happy might have been rather unremarkable as a toy, except this one is studded with massive gun racks of doom. Yes, the things that really set off Trigger Happy are the guns sticking out all over him. At least six if you want to count these little protrusions at the ends of the wings, making him the real six-shot. The only place where the guns will plug in the vehicle mode is at the base of the wings. Plug them in thusly and you have eight guns at least. Overkill? Maybe, but why not? Anywho, there had to be some things to criticize. There are some parts, mainly along the insides of the guns, that are hollowed out. A typical cost-saving trick at Hasbro these days. There isn't much kibble. Trigger Happy looks good from almost every angle. But the robot thighs are plainly visible from the back. Titan Master Blowpipe has a 360 degree rotating head, which will also waggle a little in its socket. The arms will swing upwards, and also tilt very slightly in and out in their sockets. He bends at the hips, 
and bends at the knees. Like most Titan Master Deluxes, Trigger Happy comes with an opening cockpit. Inside the cockpit you will see this tiny groove which corresponds to this protrusion at the back of Blowpipe's legs. Insert Blowpipe until the tab and the groove intersect and you will hold in firmly. Pushing that leg groove and tab together is the only way that he will seat in deeply enough that you can re-close the cockpit. The seam between the opening section of the cockpit and the transforming nose cone is almost seamless. Quite impressive. As Trigger Happy has no rolling back wheels, he will only sort of slide across smooth surfaces. But the landing gear is just a aesthetic addition to lend the impression that he is to lend the impression that Trigger Happy is parking successfully on the tarmac. Trigger Happy's transformation is similar to other Titans Return to Luxes, but with differences to make it fresh. It is also reminiscent of Universe Cyclonus, but it works much better. Begin by untabbing the wing gun sections, which fit together with this groove and this tab. Unhook this section and pull it loose from the side until the wing sections are splayed out like this. The rear section of the fighter craft pegs into this section of the fighter craft body. Fold it backwards like this. Once the rear section has been folded down, you may unfold the legs until they are sticking out straight. This will free the feet to be rotated fully forwards. Pushing the front of the feet out will also flip out the rear heel spurs. Separate the legs which tab together here and here. Once the legs have been transformed, rotate the robot pelvis 180 degrees. Fold in the landing gear and tilt the nose co section downwards. Some clever engineering has been done here. There is a hinge swivel at the center of the body. Rotate that 180 degrees so that the front is in the back and the back is in the front. With those steps completed, you may tilt the robot hips forward on this hinge. These sections will lock together neatly, firmly, and almost seamlessly. Now that the nose cone has swapped ends, Tilt it down and backwards until it is lying flush against the robot back. Accordion down the wing section. Tuck the gray section in until it is lying near flush against the robot's side. Then accordion the upper section until it is locking firmly together against the robot's shoulder. It will click in place and hold together firmly. Repeat for both sides. Take the fighter wings and fold them backwards. Take the gun emplacements and swivel them until they are tilted, facing all the way back. Flip out the robot hands from inside the forearms. Take the Titan Master blowpipe and fold his body in half to turn him back into a head. Insert the head of the Titan Master into this slot into the body of the deluxe figure. And here is Trigger Happy in robot mode. The color scheme is maintained, unlike some other figures where opening up the robot section reveals different colors. But the detailing and sculpting are excellent, and the Titan Master head seems well done too, without any ridiculous robot lips and a cool red faceplate. The robot is rock solid and holds together excellently, with all the joints feeling very tight, but not so tight that you feel you have to wrestle with him. The only visibly hollow sections in robot mode are at the forearms where the hands tilt inwards, and the backs of the shins which contain the robot thighs when transforming. The only hindering kibble seems to be on the arms. As part of the transformation and engineering for the figure, the massive guns have to fold against the sides of the forearms, while the ship wings fold against the biceps. 
Luckily, you can hinge the guns, or the wings, or both, and tilt them out of each other's way on the fly to allow for decent posing. Speaking of which... For articulation, Trigger Happy comes with all the motion and joints that we have come to expect from the Titan's Return line. The head will rotate 360 degrees and wiggle slightly in its socket, back and forth, up and down. The shoulders have a simple hinge where they join into the robot torso, but the shoulders also swivel where the hinge goes into the tricep, so you still get a wide range of motion if you can fiddle the wings and their guns out of the way. Both arms have a lower bicep swivel and hinged elbows that allow for a 90 degree bend. The wrists will fold in and out as part of the transformation. Also surprisingly, there is the waist swivel, which allows a full rotation. Ball socketed hips allow for rotation and for splaying, with upper thigh swivels as well. The knees each rotate slightly over 90 degrees, and the feet have spurs at the front and the back each of which can rotate independently. They are fit very solidly, and by adjusting them in accordance with the figure's center of gravity, you can ensure stable stances without much trouble. So despite his loose cannon character profile, you will be hard-pressed to find a deluxe figure as stable as good old TH. If any more gunnage is needed, you may peg the gun accessories into either hand, or to the sides of the other guns, or to the ports in the shoulders. The two guns will also peg together to form a double-barreled gun. Take the two halves and snap them together like so, and let Trigger Happy brandish his weapons with pride. Oddly enough, the Titan Master Head does not sidecar in vehicle mode as with other deluxes, there is no place to do so in vehicle mode, seemingly. The peg holes that would fit the sidecar in vehicle mode are covered over by the wings when you transform him into a vehicle. And so they tell you to sidecar blowpipe to the robot. You must rip off the head, unfold it into a robot, and peg the double gun sideways together. At the base of the legs of the blowpipe Titan Master, you will see two small holes, and inside the double-barreled gun you will see two tiny pegs. These will peg the head into the sidecar, and hold it in so that it doesn't fall out. You must then plug the sidecar into the peg hole on his shoulder, and blowpipe will seat goofily into his little chair while Trigger Happy blunders around without a head, I guess. Ha. Uh, brains. 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 <laughs> For size comparison, here is Titan's Return Deluxe Trigger Happy next to Movie Bayverse Leader Starscream. Here is Deluxe Titan's Return Trigger Happy next to Deluxe Universe Acid Storm. Here is Trigger Happy next to Legends Universe Cosmos. And here is Deluxe Trigger Happy next to a novelty Christmas Snowman. <laughs> the Titans Return line seems to have a lot of really good Deluxe figures, while the Voyager Leader figures are kind of so-so. As with Deluxe Brainstorm, Trigger Happy is a fine figure, well worth adding to your collection. Positive aspects include pleasing colors, solid vehicle and robot modes, excellent articulation, a clever but simple transformation, and a whole lot of guns to admire. Negative aspects are some hollowness to the arms and legs, some kibble hindrance with the arms in robot mode, and a goofy sidecar mode as a robot. Even so, Trigger Happy has well earned 9 out of 10 deaths. So buy one, 
and enjoy sending him forth to rain down me from above. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me, then you'll be left alone, oh baby, tell him all, and tell me I'm your own. <laughs>